आपको खाना अच्छा लगा हाँ लंच आपके लिए मैंगो लस्सी भेजे ऑन द हाउस नहीं नहीं क्योंकि आम, हम ऑलरेडी काफी मोती है नो 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 ब्रिंग फ्री मैंगो लस्सी फॉर द लेडी प्लीज हेलो आई एम कैथरिन रसल रिच ऑथर ऑफ द बुक ड्रीमिंग इन हिंदी पीपल से Is it true that you just took some Hindi lessons and then you flew off to India where you had many spirited adventures and just kind of learned to speak Hindi and then you came back and you wrote a book and now you get free lassis in restaurants? Not really. It involves substantial public humiliation. Come on. Let's look. Pester New York City cab drivers and newsstand guys into speaking Hindi with me. There is this one man in my neighborhood who takes a very dim view of this activity. Excuse me, how much is this? One dollar. Um, are you Indian? Yes. Um, do you speak Hindi? Yes, I speak Hindi. What is that? So Hindi aati hai. Hindi is not coming to you. मुझे हिंदी आती है यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग हिंदी ये गलत है मुझे हिंदी आती है क्योंकि राजस्थान में रहती थी एक साल के लिए दे डोंट स्पीक हिंदी इन राजस्थान I'm guessing that particular Romeo has been standing around making remarks about the customers for years in Hindi he's probably not happy to find someone breaking the wall I usually get luckier with the cab drivers, but as you'll see, only up to a point. मुझे हिंदी आती है. Very good, very good. You speak very good Hindi. हाँ, शुक्रिया. आप कहाँ से हैं? I am from the Punjab. Punjab, अच्छा. मैं राजस्थान में रहती थी एक साल के लिए. Very good. You should keep speaking Hindi. You speak very good Hindi. हाँ, शुक्रिया. You'll notice that this guy too is dodging the Hindi. I had a teacher in India who said, the first time I saw a Westerner speaking Hindi, it was like seeing a chicken barking. And I think the cab drivers get thrown by having a barking chicken in their back seat. And those were just the New York incidents. In India, there was the time when my 200-pound journalist friend Ruby managed to persuade me to get up on stage and give a speech in Hindi dressed in a traditional Rajasthani wedding outfit. I looked a lot like a giant hot pink wedding cake. I would never have done that in New York City where I live. But in India, I was like a different person. For example, while in America, I don't generally have to go around with a paper bag over my head. In India, I kind of did. Over there, my looks were considered unfortunate. In India, to just say it straight out, I was a total dog. How did I know that? Because they would tell me. 80-year-old geezers would say things like, Your features are not very beautiful, but in India, inner beauty counts. And I'd go, But you don't have teeth. Your psyche gets shaken up when you learn another language. It's like the process scrambles your brain. And Dreaming in Hindi is a book about that. It's about what effect a second language actually has on your brain. It's a book about neurolinguistics, yeah, but it's also about wild adventure. There's betrayal, jealousies, an attempted murder, a naked photo scandal. It's about extreme joy and transformation. 
In India, I rode camels through the desert, taught art at a school for the deaf, spent my afternoons with poets, and my evenings in palaces with kings and princes. Dreaming in Hindi is a book about extreme danger as well. About a year when 2,000 people were slaughtered in the state of Gujarat, not that far from where I lived, in the town of Udaipur. Finish? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>